there guys, this is me Melorian, and I am here with my son He-Man, and this is going to be the video about the No Chance Qualifier. Now, to explain where this is coming from, I am going to be going to GrotCon, uh, not this weekend, but the weekend after. It is the biggest convention we have here in Alberta, Canada. It's based out of Red Deer, which is kind of right in the middle of Alberta, and it's run by the Grots, which is why it's called GrotzCon. It's a three-day event. On the first day, I'll be doing the Iron Gauntlet, and I thought I'm probably going to be taking my Mercs, so I'm going to probably be going Texas and Osram and Buccaneers, so that should be a lot of fun. On the second day is the last chance qualifier, and on the third day is the War Machine, uh, Alberta War Machine Invitational. So going through the year, of course, I was getting points, I made it in there, and uh, I don't really want to talk about this stuff yet, because it's kind of, you know, really competitive, and people are going to be wondering what I'm playing, and you're kind of teching against the other person that's right by you, but just to let you know, I'm going to be up against Trolls first round, and then probably Crick second round, we don't know, right? You know, with 16 players, you can see the brackets, but you're having to kind of guess who's going to get through where. Now, I started off by saying this is the no chance qualifier, and for some reason my son He-Man's here, and that's because I'm turning the last chance qualifier qualifier into the no chance qualifier. I did the same thing last year because I don't need a last chance to get into the Invitational because I'm already in. So last year I had my daughter make my list and she made a Haley 3 and a Constance list, list for me and my whole goal was only to win two games. Uh, this year it's now He-Man's turn. Now He-Man, you have actually you actually play War Machine. So whereas when she did it, uh, I had to really lead her through and, you know, she had to look at pictures and pick things out and I had to make a list for her. Well, He-Man has the advantage where you actually kind of know what some of these things are, plus he knows how to use War Room. So he's made the list on War Room. I've only kind of glanced at the tops to make sure they're legal, uh, but otherwise I don't know what's in them. So we're going to go through them right now, and then uh, we'll talk about what we, how we think I'm going to do and stuff like that. So He-Man, what is in list number one? Um, those... The Sturgis as the boss. So we got Sturgis. And when I saw this one, I was like, okay, everybody loves saying Sturgis. Uh, Sturgis is the guy that I always joke around saying that he's the best war caster in the game. Did you know that? No? Why did you pick Sturgis? Um, I was just... I just picked a random caster. Sure. I think also, too, you were looking at who had the most jack points. And I think he had one the most. So yeah. I think that's why you liked him. So what jacks does is Sturgis going to be running? Um, he's gonna be running the Avenger. Okay. Cyclone. The, the, the Cyclone. So the Cyclone is actually a good one for him because what Sturgis does is pulls things in. So if the Cyclone goes and makes his little covering fire first, I can pull the enemies into the covering fire, so that's good. The Avenger I can work with because he can shoot and knock things down. Maybe Sturgis can do some ninja moves. Uh, but what did you add past that? The two storm, two storm striders. Two storm striders. I got double battle engines with Sturgis, so I actually got quite a bit of guns in there. Um, a uh, trench buster. A trench buster. Oh, do I actually? I I told him that I pretty much have everything. I think a trench buster might be one of the few things I don't have, unless. My buddy Jack left his here, and I think he might have actually taken it with him. Okay, well, the answer to that is I just gotta go buy a trench buster. So I'm gonna go and work out that part. So right now, that's a danger zone where I own like 99% of all this stuff, uh, but he picked out one of the things I don't have. So thumbs or high five, you win. <laughs> you found something I don't own. <clears throat> so a trench buster. Okay, uh, clearly I've never played it before because I don't own it. Uh, what else do you have in the list? Mather, Major, Catherine, Lattermore. So Lattermore. So yeah, that's the, the Calvary Solo. So that should be, you know, she's good if she has Storm Lances, but I doubt I have any Storm Lances. What else you got in there? Uh, two things of Storm Knights. Uh, they're both Max units. Uh, no, one's a Max unit and one's a Min unit. Okay, so I got kind of like this weird shooty list, but I got Knights in there too. So that'll be interesting. What else do I got? Um, and the last, got, last but not least is 
Storm Smith, Storm Towel. Yeah, I got two of those things in there somewhere. And that's that. So that's a... Uh, that's kind of a mixed bag list. That's kind of what I'm expecting to get from this is a little bit of this and a little bit of that. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be kind of interesting. Uh, ben, why did you, or He-Man, oh no, the world knows your name now. <laughs> um, why did you pick those things for Sturgis? Um, I just picked random things that equals 75. Okay, so you really just went through and said like random, 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 or was it like the look of them or the name? What did you go with? I just did random stuff. Okay, fair enough. All right, uh, so there's list number one. What are we going to pair Sturgis with? On number two, list number two, mm -hmm. um, the caster is Constance Blade, Knight of the... Office. Here we go, guys. The two best casters in Signar. Here we go. They're usually called the worst. <laughs> she can actually work for two factions, Signar and Mercenaries, and she's the worst in both factions. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> so what jacks did you give Constance? Um, I gave her a Hammersmith. A Hammersmith, all right. A Firefly. Sure, a, why not? A charger. A charger. I can make that stuff work. That's okay. An arcane tem tempest rifleman. <laughs> rifleman. Pew, 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 pew. So this guy right here that I better arc. <clears throat> oh, no. Archduke Rune. The Archduke Runewood. So, okay, I usually take him when he's free, but why not pay points for him? And, of course, he, he actually is really good with sword knights, and there's no sword knights in this list, is there? They're just in the other list, so that's the way it goes. What else you got there for me? Captain Arlen Strangeways. So we got Strangeways in there, all right. I'm starting to sense a pattern of solos. What else we got in there? Captain Maxwell Finn. Okay, he's cool. I, I, I'm actually surprised I don't see him in more or less, because he's one of these guys that can go in there, he gets to kill somebody, move, kill somebody, move, and he can actually just keep on killing people until he's done. So uh, maybe I can get something going there, I'll have to see. What else do I got? Two um, gun mage captain adept. I only got, uh, it's actually pretty handy that you're using the guys right here. I got one unpainted and one painted. I I might have time to get these guys painted too. We'll see if I have time. These ones here, by the way, I do play that in tournaments I play painted, except for these no chance qualifiers, because these are grabbing things that I don't normally have ready. So, okay, we got two gun mage captains. What else we got? Colin Bush. All right, Arlen Verge. That's actually good for Constance. Uh, Constance has a rule that if there's someone else who's Morrowind that's already fighting them, she gets an extra plus two to hit, and it becomes a weapon master, basically. So Harlan will just run up, and then she can actually do some work. So that's really good to have him in the list. What else we got? Um, a major Harrison <clears throat> Gibbs. So Gibbs. So I can feed Constance a cat. So that's pretty good. <laughs> Major, Major Catherine Lattimore. So we got Lattimore again, and that's fine. She's a character, but with the new rules, there's nothing stopping you from using her twice. Storm, oh, so many solos. Stormblade Captain. Stormblade Captain, all right. Stormblade to Toy <laughs> The Stormsmith Stormcallers, yeah. So that, that'll that be, okay, little solos to run around. Trench, trench buster. Another trench buster. <laughs> so, okay, in each list I have something I don't own yet. Luckily it's the same model. Uh, what else? Trench or Master Donald. Oh so that's, that's a guy that's pretty useless, but I actually have one and he's painted. So, all right, you can see his first game ever. Uh, what else we got? Long Donald. Infantry. And that's a min unit of them, the small unit of them. Okay. Wow. That is uh, a lot of solos. <laughs> a lot of solos. And we'll see how that list does. I think overall, 
the Sturgis list will do better. It was actually the same thing last year. Last year, I had Haley 3 and Constance, and Haley 3 actually did okay. Constance, not so well. I think that's going to be the same thing here, He-Man. The Constance list, I don't know. I don't think I'll be able to make this work, but I'll try. But I think the Sturgis one, you know, I think the Sturgis one actually has some stuff in it that I, I might be able to get some wins. So, overall... What my goal is for the last chance qualifier, which I believe is five games, is I want to try and win two games. That's my goal. How many games do you think I'm going to win? Uh, two. Two? Okay, so if, if He-Man's right, I'll win my two, go my two games, make my goal, and there we go. I, I do have to either borrow a trench buster or quickly get one made, but that's an easy thing to figure out. Otherwise, yeah, I mean, that's why I like doing this. You know, I get to do stuff with my kids and I get to get these crazy lists that, you know, here's everyone at the last chance qualifier trying to kick each other's butts, trying to get this last spot. And I'm just there playing st silly stuff, having fun. So it's a nice way to go. So He-Man, thank you very much for making these awful lists. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, we're going to have to kind of see because uh, I haven't been doing the bell reports because of how my computer hasn't been working. But especially for something like this where it's a convention, I really want to find a way to make this work. So I am going to be doing my best to find a workaround. So, anyway, I want to thank you again, He-Man. And uh, to everyone, we'll catch you later. Bye. Bye.